Schwaben Park is a quirky family amusement park located in southwestern Germany. There are home to four roller coasters, all of which adults will be able to enjoy as well as kids. I didn't know much about this park going in. I knew it wasn't going to have a ton of extreme thrills, but the park had a ton of personality, and we had a lot of fun here. We spent about half a day here. We actually split Schwaben Park with Trips Drill, which was located about an hour away. And frankly, I think I could have spent more time at Schwaben Park. Not a ton more, maybe like an extra hour or two, but there was definitely more here than I originally expected. So I didn't get the chance to do all of the attractions, but in this review, I'm going to talk about our full experience at Schwaben Park. So the things that we recommend, some of the stuff that you'll be able to find when you come here to visit, because I actually would recommend this park to people. Like obviously, like if you're trying to prioritize like the main theme parks in Germany to go to, like obviously you should go to like Europa Park and Fantasialand first and foremost. Even nearby, I would recommend Trips Drill over Schwaben Park. But I don't know, there's just something about this place that was really fun. So let's first walk through this arrival experience. Now Schwaben Park, I'm not gonna lie, felt pretty remote. The nearest big city is Stuttgart, but we didn't like take an autobahn to get here. We we're driving through like the backwoods of Germany, lots of windy roads over hills and valleys. We were like five minutes away and we we're like, where is this place? But we passed through a small village, parked right up front. It was free to park, which was nice. The downside is when we got here, it was shortly after park opening and there was a long line to get in. There was only one ticket booth open and that ticket booth also acts as your entry gate. So even if you already had your tickets booked online, you still had to wait in the ticket line just to get in the park. And I feel like this is an easy fix. What Schwaben Park needs to do is have a separate turnstile for park entry other than the ticket booth. You see this at most theme parks. I understand that Schwaben Park probably has a smaller budget than a lot of these other places. I also know that this isn't going to be an issue later in the day, but like right when the park was opening, I mean, it took us a while to get in. And we were just thinking, oh man, this place is going to be packed. But then once we got in, there were like barely any lines. It's just because everyone in the park had to go through the one person that's at the booth. And that's honestly probably the biggest suggestion that I think Schwaben Park could benefit from. Because everything else I thought was great. Schwaben Park did make a funny first impression though, because as we were waiting in that line to get in, we found a vending machine and we're like, oh, I wonder what drinks are in there. No, 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 there weren't drinks. They were like eggs and pasta. Like in a vending machine right there. Like, yeah, oh, about to go to amusement park, ride some roller coasters. Wait, let me first grab my dozen eggs. Like, what? It was so funny. I've never seen that before. I'm sure they're great eggs, but that was already a sign of like, oh man, what are we in for today? So when you walk in, I would say the size of this park is deceiving because all of the roller coasters are up front. You have Hummel Brummel, then Wilde Hilde, and then right behind that, Force One. Now, I'm not going to lie. We came to Schwab Park for one reason only, and that is Wilde Hilde. We had an unhealthy obsession with this chicken coaster. Big fans of the soundtrack. The ride was pretty fun, too. We rode it like four times in a row. Very goofy experience, but honestly, Hummel Brummel next door wasn't bad either. This was unique because it was a self-powered roller coaster, meaning you like control the speed. There's not any like big drops or anything. So you can go slow, you can go fast. We did this twice, kind of mess around with the controls to really get a feel for it. But it was like way more fun than it should have been. And then behind all that, Force One is the Zero Family Coaster. Custom layout built into the hillside. Actually pretty solid. Not a bad layout at all. That's probably like the biggest roller coaster here, you know? And then the only other roller coaster in the park that we saw is there's a kid's coaster that's actually a little bit further back. We did not get on it though, because when we went, they were alternating staff between rides. So they were taking a break from work in the kid's coaster to go work another attraction. So they said, come back later. We'll be at this attraction between this time and this time. Which I mean, when you're like a small family music park right outside a local town, this wasn't too surprising. You know, Schwaben Park isn't really meant to be a major tourist attraction. It's just a place for locals to enjoy and have a fun day at. But one of the things that stood out to me as we we're walking around is we found a lot of self-operated attractions, which I think is perfect when you have a limited number of staff. That's putting a lot of trust in the guests, and there's probably a reason that you don't find any of that in America. But here in Germany, it's totally okay. We also found a lot of like fun playground like activities for kids, including right in the center was this giant hot air balloon looking structure, but actually it's like a playground. You can go in the hot air balloon and like climb around. That looked kind of awesome. That was one thing that I did not do, but I was definitely tempted to. Sean Park also had a log flume. This boat ride was some pretty simple animatronics, very fairy tale inspired. They had an electric bobsled style attraction called Bob Cart that we did. It's like the one at Toverland, if you're familiar with that one. Really cool, again, self operated, kind of reminiscent of a roller coaster, like going down the hillside. But again, more accurately, it's a bobsled. Really fun. Schwan Park also had an indoor area that we just like completely missed. So we don't have any footage to show for this, but there's a laser tunnel, an indoor mini golf, and apparently there's also an indoor boat, like dark ride that 
we just completely missed. I had no idea it existed. I'm sure we would have found it eventually, but that's one of the things. You know, we didn't do a ton of research going in here. So we were just discovering everything as we went. I liked this little petting zoo area. You could just like walk in and pet some goats and alpacas. They had carrots available in a vending machine to feed them. Again, they don't have like normal things in vending machines here. There are also some chimpanzees. That part felt a little random because there weren't really any other animals near there. Like you had the petting zoo, which I feel like is fine, but just having random chimpanzees that you can see, but no other like zoo animals was a little bizarre. I probably could have done without that, especially since the cages, I don't know, weren't that big. But I mean, that kind of gives you a general overview of Schwaben Park. I liked all the different attractions they have. I think the fact that so many of them are interactive is really great. As I mean, kids are going to love that. Being there almost made me feel like a kid again, like I'm running around in this giant playground, especially since some of these pieces of playground equipment you don't really get in the U.S. So we were having way too much fun. So, I mean, yeah, that about does it. We didn't have any food while we were here because we just decided to eat in between Schwan Park and when we were on our way to Trips Drill. So I can't really talk about that. Biggest piece of advice I'd probably say is if you're literally just coming here for the roller coasters, you'll be in and out pretty quickly. But if you want to actually have time to explore the park, you could definitely spend some time walking around here. I can safely say that the park exceeded my expectations. The only thing I knew prior to going was that they had the chicken coaster. So I came for the chicken ride. I stayed for the quirky and fun atmosphere. So for that reason, I recommend Schwaben Park. Let me know down in the comments below if you've been here, if you agree with the points that I brought up. If you think there's any attractions I missed, be sure to post all of that down in the comments below. And remember, you can always check out other amusement park reviews we've done from places all across the world, available in a playlist organized in alphabetical order by the park's name. So be sure to go give those a watch, and thank you to everyone who's also been supporting us on Patreon. We've been releasing a bunch of fun bonus content on there. If you're interested in checking it out, head to patreon.com slash coasterstudios. We really appreciate it. So thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.